Hi, hey, it's Sexy J. Quick and dirty time. We are again back at it with the SAT writing or the ACT English, whatever you're gonna call it, guys, because I want to cover everything you guys want me to cover, and this is what you wanted. So today's question type is a register problem, which sounds really odd, because register is not a word that's really used outside of AP Lang. So um, to make it more familiar to us, it's more really formal versus informal. Okay. Okay. Let me. So let me just give you guys this. So when you write, you're supposed to keep a certain register, which is you keep the same level of formality. So if you're read, writing uh, really informally here, you have to keep that tone. However, on the SAT and the ACT, there has never been a case where the answer choice was the informal choice, okay? It's always, this one I can say 100%, the formal one. Always, okay? So when I get a register problem and I feel like these are all just kind of saying things in a more or less formal way, go with the formal one, okay? There's never been a case where they're like, oh yeah, that is too formal, that's bad. Mm -mm, doesn't happen, okay? So the former president of the company spoke to the shareholders asking them, so this is very similar to the problem I saw recently, although I make my own problems now, as you guys know, um, where a lot of my students got something like, A, they saw nothing wrong with it to give his old job back to him. So I'll read that sentence. The former president of the company spoke to the shareholders, asking them to give his whole job back to him. There's nothing wrong with that grammatically. It's just to give his old job back to him, like saying his old job, is considered by SAT too informal. Why is that? I don't know. That's just their standards, right? So how would I say that normally, professionally? It would be asking them to give his job back. Like, you don't need the old part, okay? And I also don't need back to him. So the answer here is D return him to power. And a lot of the students had issues with why am I changing it to power? Isn't he just trying to get his job back? But look, he's the president. So they used a position of president to enable themselves to use the phrase power. Why? Because they knew most of you would go for the trap answer with the word job in it. Okay, so that's how they set this up. So the answer here is the former president of the company spoke to shareholders asking him to return him to power, which sounds a little bit grand, but that's better than going too informal with give his old job back, okay? And P, I thought was kind of like, I actually checked, is this from a real SAT? The SAT has used the word clout recently because their whole thing is the wrong answers, the slang answers, they're wrong, okay? So if you guys see words like, well, they use clout here, I don't know if they're gonna use words like swag or whatever, but if they do know, that's gonna be the wrong answer, guys, because the Words being slang are obviously going to be too informal. So the president of the company spoke to shareholders asking them to let him have some cloud again. That sounds ridiculous, right? So that's out. And the answer choice C here, this is not that important. I'll just go through it for the sake of completion. This is going the other direction of going, um, there's the wrong vocab word, okay? Um, hegemony is something that applies to a nation. It's a nation or a state that dominates other nations. The dude is a uh, one person, he's not a nation, so it just doesn't fit in terms of the vocab. Yeah. So for that one, yes, you do have to know the vocab, but no, you wouldn't, because you would know answer choice D's answer anyway. Okay. So that's uh, today's quick and dirty. It's pretty quick, right? So when I have a problem and it's just matter of formality, go with the formal one. That's the answer. Slang, wrong. Okay. Slang is going to be wrong on the SAT or the ACT. That's it for today's quick and dirty, guys. Let me know whatever subject you're going to see covered. I got you guys. See you guys next time. Study every day with Sexy J, the best way. Bye-bye.